Hi, Kendall Waruka, buyer specialist with the Lucas Howard Group and board member of the Ada Business Association. Today we're at Gravel Bottom Brewery and we're hanging out with Nick, who is a brewmaster extraordinaire. Yes, all of that is true. <laughs> so Nick, I understand you normally have six beers on tap, yes. is that correct? Yes, we strive for six. And you brew all of those here? All of it's here, yes. On this system, which is a three barrel system, we mm -hmm. produce about Six kegs, about 90 plus gallons, depending on the batch of beer and kind of what we're going for. That's fantastic. Now, for those of who aren't really familiar with the world of beer, each one that you brew has a different alcohol volume. Yes. Can you explain what controls the volume of alcohol when we brew beer? Absolutely. Um, what produces alcohol is sugar being fermented by yeast, produces the alcohol and CO2 and a bunch of other stuff. But um, what happens when we're making beer is that we take uh, malted barley and sometimes wheat, oats, other grains, but mostly malted barley, and it goes in this mash tun with hot water. What that does is it, um, just simplest terms, is it extracts the sugar molecules out of there, uh -huh. which we then collect into our boil kettle. Um, we boil it to, first of all, sanitize it to keep any other microbes out, but also to um, reduce our volume, getting us to the amount of volume that we want in our uh, finished product. So then. Once we have that sugar water, we add our yeast to it, and the yeast goes to town and makes the alcohol. So the more malt that you use, the more alcohol that will be produced, and the less malt you use, the less alcohol. Thank you very much. You explained that very well. As short as I could do it. And you just finished brewing a new batch today, we did. right? Yep. Just finished so. a Russian Imperial Stout, which is a um, well, it's a higher gravity, higher alcohol content stout. Um, probably will clock in somewhere around nine percent, and uh, ideally, we're going to actually Ooh. let it sit in. Uh, these two barrels here. Uh, uh -huh, and age. Yep, and age, and uh, give it a little bit of that whiskey character from the second use bourbon barrel. Oh, and what's the name of this new one going to be? The name of this new one uh, is going to be Kevin the Bold, uh, which is kind of a nod to a famous Russian Imperial Stout uh, in the brewing world, and also uh, alludes to a uh, comic that strip that was uh, written by a Ada resident a uh, long time ago. Yeah, there's an article about that in the book that the Historical mm -hmm. Society Ace put Horse, out yep. on Ada. Yeah. And you're going to show us something um, testing? This is what's called a um, hydrometer, this little doodad here, and then a flask. And so what we do is we collect a sample of that sugar water that we've produced um, after adding our hops and boiling it, uh, and we get what's called our original gravity. Okay. And that's represented by some numbers here on the side, one point, and then the next number. So this particular beer is uh, what I would refer to as a 1090. So 1.090 <laughs> is the, the sugar content. And then, so that gives us an approximation of what we can expect out of the uh, attenuation. Um, after it's fermented, after the yeast has all done its job, we'll come back and we'll take another reading, which will give us our final gravity. And uh -huh. then based on where it starts and where it finishes, we plug that into a calculation and it gives us our alcohol content. Fabulous and mm -hmm. fascinating. Yeah. So you guys have also been participating in Beers on the Bridge yes, this year, have. right? Absolutely. How's that been going? It's been going really well. We have uh, just produced um, four different batches of beer for that event. Mm -hmm. and. Um, Kind of went overkill on it, but that's a better thing than running out of beer, which had been the case in the past. Yeah, running out of beer is not fun. Nobody likes that. No. They get kind of angry. <laughs> so what's your favorite thing about Ada? What do you love the most? I really love the community here where people come in and I get a chance to one-on-one -on -one communicate with them and explain to them my process, my ideas. Um, for example, like I'll tell, I know of at least one customer that I'm going to tell about this beer. His name is Kevin, so he might be excited. <laughs> um, to know that this beer is named kind of in, in his homage, but not necessarily. Yeah. But I'll play it up like it is. Works for me. Yeah. So there you have it. Gravel Bottom is a great place to come down and grab a fantastic brew. Six on tap. They also have a mug club. You can check that out. They're located on the corner of Ada and Fulton behind Lake Michigan Credit Union.